talk about what to look for in an album. When you're buying an album, either for your own wedding or to sell to wedding clients, durability is one of the things that's really important about wedding albums. You want these to last as long as possible. If they can make it to a second or third generation, that would be amazing. So finding a good quality wedding album is really important if you care about your images. Um, the small book that I have here is a five by five size. These are good to give as gifts either to parents or to friends or to people who've attended the wedding or had special um, moments for the wedding. And there are some manufacturers that allow you to do your own page layout and design so that you can design your own. Con decisions that you want to consider are whether these pages are going to be glossy or matte. In this case, these are glossy pages. You can see the reflection off of them. Glossy just gives them maybe a more saturated look while matte gives them um, a more subtle look. And how you design the layout obviously is up to you. This one's just using a white background and some very simple pairings on similar pages. Um, the printing quality is gonna be different for different types of manufacturers. So you're gonna wanna maybe get a test print of one of the pages to compare it to your monitor to see if the printing option that you choose is close to how your own monitor renders color and saturation. Printing will always be just a little bit different than what you see on your monitor because your monitor usually is backlit and printing is reflected light. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, this particular type of album is probably one of the more affordable types while still having a very hard, rigid page that's difficult to bend and difficult to tear. Having pages that are difficult to tear and bend is one of those markers of a high quality album. Also look at how the album pages fold when they're printed across the page. Are they retaining the color? Are you losing any color in the middle of those folds? That's another marker of how the images were printed and um, what the quality is like. There is a little bit of um, kind of quality coming off in the fold here, but it's very, very small, hard to notice, and really would take a lot of turning pages for it to be any more dramatic than that. So this is a small hardcover book, and hardcover is another way that you wanna help preserve your images. Um, how it's bound makes a big difference as well. You can see the binding here helps allow it to lay flat. And that's, if you're gonna have images that are printed across the page, having that lay flat design is going to be very important to not losing any work in the middle of a seam like you would have if the images were not bound in this way. So you can see it's kind of like two um, hard pages that are glued together and then glued to each other and then glued to this hardcover binding. Next type is another flesh mount type album. And um, so this flesh mount is taking a photographic print and mounting it to a matted surface. So whereas this book actually prints directly on this matted page and then just binds page to page, this type of album actually prints to a photographic print and then mounts it to a page. And you'll see exactly where that shows up. Like in these images here, you can see the crack shows you that this um, photo has actually been split in order to be sliced and printed and bound to two different pages. And so in this, you can see how it's white on white. And sometimes you'll have a manufacturer who'll use a black mat or a black paper in between the photographic prints. And so then you have this kind of Oreo look on the edge of the binding. Um, this is actually not a very sturdy binding. You can see that this is a flimsy paper at the edge here. So this is going to wear down over time. That's something to look for when you're looking for bindings, how that's gonna stand up over time. But because this um, is flush to the edge here, um, you're actually going to be able to stand it up or lay it down pretty easily. Again, it's the same design, designed across several pages, but here with that flush mount, um, look, you're going to have that little stripe in the middle. There are a lot of manufacturers that are moving away from this now um, and just doing that page to page binding. Again, these pages are very sturdy, hard to rip. They're not gonna tear. They're um, 
definitely going to last a lifetime. And photographic prints in general have an archival quality of around 100 years. So you imagine this could be passed down to a daughter, a granddaughter, son, grandson, and it will still maintain the same color quality. If you are going to have a book that has some kind of um, printing on the front, you might want it to have a slip cover. Um, if there's no slip cover option, then most likely if it's a good quality manufacturer, then it's gonna be a good quality print on the front that's not gonna come off. Another option is to have a leather bound or a fabric bound style book. Um, these are very heavy. I would say this book is <laughs> a few ounces this book maybe a pound maybe two but this book is more like five to ten pounds and so when you're using a really high quality leather album a few things that you want to look for is they usually have some kind of inner page here sometimes you can customize these pages um, and then what's the matting underneath so this is a black mat underneath with the white print on top and this is where you can see the crease has that black line in the middle um, across the pages because of that black matting underneath. And when you look at it on top, then you kind of get that Oreo effect. This has an extra strong binding because it has the fabric, which is glued to the mats, which is glued to the prints. This is probably one of the more sturdy types of wedding albums that you can have. It's been around for a long time if you've ever seen somebody's flesh mount album um, from 20 30 years ago it may be this style album because they do last quite a long time again this is a photographic print you can get different styles of printing you can get a press printed book you can get a inkjet printed book and then whether or not it's going to be glossy or matte that's going to be up to you and the printer that you choose i would say that um a nice satin finish is going to be the most durable type of paper that you can have. Um, it's the easiest to quickly wipe something off of if you do spill something on it. Um, if you have a matte paper, whatever you spill is going to soak right in right away. If you have a super glossy paper, it can get sticky in humidity. Um, so a satin finish or a semi-satin um, glossy finish is going to be a the most durable type of wedding album option. And then most either have a finishing page or have another set of um, binding pages. And you can usually add your own imprint on the inside or on the back. Sometimes you can add an imprint on the front or you can add an image in the middle. If you do decide to go with an image in the middle, make sure it's inset so that it doesn't get damaged over time. And one of the storage things about these books is that because they are so heavy, you want to store them flat. You want to store them in a bookshelf like this. You don't want to store them upright because when you're storing them like this, they're gonna last a lot longer. But when you store them like this, you're actually um, pulling on that binding here. You're pulling it out from the top here and you're creating more stress on that binding over time. So those are things to consider when you're looking for wedding albums and wedding album manufacturers, whether you're a bride looking or a groom looking or you're a photographer, consider the quality of the albums that you're getting. Um, not all albums are equal, not all albums are gonna hold up well over time. So make those decisions consciously. Good luck.